So it's not enough for a boom operator to just know sound, you also have to know at least a little bit about camera. Now let's start with focal length. Focal length is basically the distance between the lens and the image sensor of the camera. So let's say it's a standard 35 millimeter image sensor, which is you know standard 35 millimeter widescreen image uh, sensor on the camera, let's say, and you put a 35 millimeter lens on the camera. The distance between that 35 millimeter lens and the image sensor of the camera, if it is in focus, will be 35 millimeters in distance. So 35 millimeters from the image sensor to the lens is going to be in focus. If the lens size is a 14 millimeter prime, then it's going to be closer to the image sensor, and therefore it is going to be 14 millimeters from the image sensor if it's going to be in focus. So basically, whatever the, the prime number is on the millimeters of the lens, that is the distance away from the image sensor on the camera in order for it to be in focus. Kind of a weird way for me to put it, but I hope you got the idea. Now, if you have a zoom lens, it changes. If you even look down the barrel of the lens and you change and you know you, you zoom in and out, you will see a lens moving forward and backwards. And that is basically the same thing as the uh, as putting different size lenses on the camera, except that you can vary them. Now, <laughs> boom operators do not like zoom lenses because it's very commonplace for the, the camera people, at least in television, I should say, in feature films, usually on the big budget shows, they're better at this, but even then they still get into crazy mode and things happen. So one of the things that's very easy for camera people to do is to change your focal length from, let's say, 35 millimeters to on the fly, maybe a DP is on a walkie to the radio on the operator's ears, and suddenly they're told, go to 30 mils. So they widen out. Suddenly, your boom that was right on top of the frame line is now in. And they say, well, you know, boom's in the shot. It wasn't the last four takes. What changed? Nothing. Well, how in the world did I get in the shot suddenly on take five when I wasn't in the shot on the previous takes? Well, it's because they have a zoom lens on. I got, I, I got sidetracked there. Basically put, though, the focal length of the, the lens itself corresponds to the distance between the lens and the image sensor on the camera. Now, that is, of course, if it's full frame. There are cameras that are not full frame in use. Usually, you will run into them on television. Like, for example, some cameras out there, I worked a show a few years ago with a two-thirds sensor, two-thirds uh, size sensor. So basically, if you were to take a standard image sensor like this, now cut in two-thirds on that, that's about how big the image sensor was. And they were using standard lenses on the camera. So basically, if they put a six mil lens on that camera, I had to say, okay, well, six millimeter lens would normally be humongously wide. And it still was wide. But what I had to keep in mind is that if the lens was zooming, was basically focusing the, the focus image onto an image sensor that was not able to pick up all of this space, it's only able to pick up that much space, it's basically cropped. So an image sensor that the, the lens is expecting to put light out for this size, but instead it's only able to actually, uh, you know, expose right through there. So that actually cut the frame way down to something more closer to, I think it was like a 15 mil lens or something. But I remember when I was at about a 30 mil lens, I remember it was closer to like a 45 or something like that. It was very boomable at that point. And that's simply because the lens sizes did not correspond correctly to the camera because the camera was a two-thirds image sensor. Now, another camera to keep in mind is the RED cameras that you constantly run into, and they're being used on bigger and bigger shows. Those cameras themselves are natively 4K, 6K, 5K, 8K, whatever the case may be. And they will extract, which means that they could have a safe area that is allowed for play of digital effects or something like that, but they may only they may be safe saving the let's say they may only be extracting a 6K image out of it. So even though the entire sensor is 8K, they may only be extracting a 6K image from that. Now it sounds awkward, but if they are extracting 
depending on how they're extracting the image from that, it is going to crop in weirdly on the, the lens itself. Like for example, so let's go to www.red.com forward slash tools forward slash crop dash factor and play with their crop factor tool. Let's say that you are using a red weapon. Where would be a red weapon? Let's say, well, I'll just say a red dragon. It's an 8K image right there. And let's say that we are shooting at 8K. So our entire 29 mil lens frame is full frame on this image. But if we are, let's say, extracting at 7K, suddenly there is a safe area over there and the camera basically, this 29 mil lens has become a 33 mil lens. So let's go now down to 6K. So now we're preserving and extracting just a little bit from this. It's not like most cameras, I should say, red is not like most cameras that simply fill this entire frame and even though you go into a wider resolution, it still goes full frame. What red does is it crops in on their entire image sensor the same way that it would be if you had went to a two-thirds image sensor or something. So if you have a red Monstro at 6K extraction on an, 8, on an 8K camera, the 29mm lens becomes a 38.7. And then if we go down to 5K, it now becomes a 46.4K lens. If you go down to 4K, it suddenly becomes a 58 millimeter lens. And if you were to go all the way down to 3K and then to 2K, which would be about the bare minimum, this 29 mil lens suddenly becomes 116 mil lens. So if you are looking at the side of the camera and see a 29 mil lens and you don't know that they're extracting at 2K, which is just a little bitty resolution area here on the inside, this little bitty exposed area right here, it basically has become a 116 mil lens, but if you don't know that because you're not paying attention, then you're gonna be in serious trouble because you're gonna be trying to boom up here and the shot is actually down here. So you can see it's very important to know the camera as well as the focal length because depending on the extraction, depending on the image sensor size, it could be that the image is totally different than what that lens would normally dictate on a full frame camera. Now. It's one of those things that you could go and try to figure out for yourself, but it's better if you were to go talk to an AC. And usually second ACs are going to be the ones that are going to be most available for you to ask these questions to, and they're going to know the answer. And uh, of course, if you have questions too, the first, AC, uh, first ACs are also going to be able to answer your questions too. Typically, I go to the second ACs first because first ACs on the first day of a show, if I don't know these answers because the, the camera opera, I'm sorry, because the sound mixer didn't know to ask them or didn't know what they're extracting yet or anything like that on the, the show, then I'll go and ask using the second ACs first because in prep, they will be ha hands-on and very active in that, figuring that out. Plus, if it's first up on the first day of a new show, first ACs are probably going to have their hands full with trying to get everything in focus and trying to get everything going. So I usually will not bother them. I'll usually go and bother the second ACs uh, about this issue, but um, or about this concern, I should say. It's not really an issue. But that's something very important for us to know. Focal length is extremely important because it basically shows you how high you can boom, how high you can keep the boom. You want the boom to be out of the frame, but close enough to get your dialogue nice and present. So how can you do that if you don't know what the focal length is on that camera? So there you go. There's your quick crash course on focal length and some things to keep in mind about it. There are some links down in the description if you want some more information. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.